Hi, Vincent. How are you? I'm good. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I really enjoyed the show. I've seen two episodes so far, really enjoying it. Um, despite the fact this is a kind of high octane thriller with explosions and espionage and terrorism, at its centre is a story about two people who loved each other. And this explores that that love kind of never disappears. So I was wondering, when you take on a project like this, do you treat the character on very human terms? Do you almost need to forget the genre it sits in and treat it like you would any other project? Is your process always the same? My problem, my my, um, my process is never the same. But you said something that was that is re actually really accurate. Is you don't think about the genre. I mean, of course, you need to do the fights and everything. But even the fights, you know, I want it to be so realistic that I cut and I made everything drier than what it was supposed to be at first. You know, to make it to make it more realistic and believable. But for me, the mm -hmm. principal arch of the whole thing is definitely this history of passion between the two main characters. You know, without this, the rest is. You know, the rest is just decorum when you think about it. So, of course, through a little story, you tell the big story. Yeah. Do you do you believe that love never goes away, that when you've loved someone once, it always exists somewhere? If you really love that person, yes, I, that's what I think. Even mm -hmm. if you separate from that person, I think that otherwise it would be like denying yourself. You know, it's um, I'm part of those people who think that once you said I love you once, meaning it, it's very complicated to say it a second time. It feels yeah. like you're using the, sec the, the same line for the same line for for a different person. It feels wrong. So it's not. I mean that can happen, mm -hmm. and I'm a, I'm a living proof of that. But I don't think you can you can have that many real love in your life. That's mm -hmm. my point of view. Mm -hmm. I, was, I mean, I think that the the kind of Vincent Cassell and Eva Green kind of the collaboration on this, it just fits so well on screen. And I just wondered if you guys knew each other at well or at, at all, sort of really getting in before getting involved in this project and what it was like to collaborate on this. Project. No, 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 no. We, we didn't know each other before, mm. uh, but I have to say that I've been fascinated by this actress for a long time and I always wanted to work with her. She's for me one of the few, if not the only one in France that had that has this kind of career because of her choices and the way she carries herself. So I was totally fascinated and I was super happy to work with her. I, had, I was lucky enough to then do back to back the Three Musketeers with her. So I spent like a like almost a whole year working with Eva. It was an incredible pleasure. I still have no idea who she is. <laughs> she is that mysterious. And um, but she's very instinctive and uh, and she's very particular, you know, and strangely enough, working with her, I realized that I recognize myself in her. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Can you, do you I just know about playing roles like this? Do you think that because um, there's so much kind of um, secrecy and backstabbing in the world that you're portraying in this in this show? Have, have you would you say that it makes you being in this makes you skeptical about the world we live in, the, the people around us at all? No, exactly. I mean, I'm, it's not because of the show that I feel like that. <laughs> I think, you know, it's not people are backstabbing and everything in the show, but we show that in the show because this is reality. Yeah. And I think to believe otherwise would be very naive. You know, the world works in a way that has to do uh, with the jungle, actually. Maybe the jungle is even, you know, not as violent as the, the real politics that runs the world. You know, when you see the number of people that are killed for interest and everything. I mean, the world is crazy. And the, the, the I guess the show just has a tendency to instead of showing a pretty idealized idea, idealized image of uh, of the world, it kind of points that, you know, no, it's not like that. Mm. Well, I can't wait to see how this story carries on because it's a really fascinating story. Uh, thank you so much for your time today, Vincent. Best of luck with the release of the show. Thank you very much. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!